Hi and welcome everyone. So today we have a video request uh, from Carrie. Carrie says, would you do a video on OneDrive and how to add folders and how to add our homework to assignments? So good question, Carrie. Yes, I will do a video on this and uh, so let's get started. So first thing you have to know is what is OneDrive. So OneDrive is Microsoft Office's cloud storage system. So uh, to create a OneDrive is free and you automatically get five gigs of data. However, if you use the uh, link that I provide in the description box below this video, you're going to see that if you click that link, uh, you're going to actually get a um, an extra half a gig, so 5.5 gigs. So just use that link if you're going to create a new OneDrive account. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So when you click that link, it's going to take you to a page that looks like this. Okay, and so we see this sign in. So right here, you're going to enter in your email address, phone number, or Skype name. Okay, most of the time, uh, email address will be just fine. So I'll just type in my email address here and then I will click next. Now, uh, sometimes uh, they will say that account, uh, that Microsoft account doesn't exist. Uh, and so you're gonna wanna check to see if you um, have a Microsoft account. In this case, I don't have a Microsoft account already. So I'm going to just click on create one. All right, so I click on create one right there. I could set up a password, so I'll just do that. And then after you type in your password, you could just uh, uncheck this box for promotional emails. You probably don't need that. And then um, you could just click next right there. They're gonna send you a promotional code. And so I've already checked my email on that promotional code and I entered it in. In this case, it was a four digit code um, and they were all numbers. So it'll ask, do you wanna save your password? I typically don't, I just type it in every time. So there we go. So this brings you to OneDrive and it says, welcome to OneDrive. And so let's get started. And I think you just click next through this. It'll tell you about your photos and all these different things. So. There we go. So that's how to create a OneDrive account. So while you're in OneDrive here, you're going to want to save files, right? That was part of your question. So in order to save files to OneDrive, uh, what you have to do is we have to create folders. So it's the same way as managing your folders on File Explorer. So if, if let's say I want to create a folder for uh, our school, Long Beach City College. What I'm going to do is right up here, I just click on New and I click folder, okay? And so if I click new folder, I could just type in LBCC, okay? So I put in LBCC for a new folder, so that's how you create a new folder inside OneDrive. Now what I do is I click on that folder to go inside of that folder, okay? And let's say we're studying Microsoft Word, all right? Well, we need to keep a good eye on our Word files. We need to make sure that um, I know where I'm navigating to, so I'm gonna click new one more time, and I'm gonna click folder, and I'm gonna put Word Chapter 1, okay? So there we go, I put a Word Chapter 1 folder there, and then I go inside this folder. Okay, so now I have this folder here. Now, how do I actually get my files from my computer onto this, uh, this OneDrive account right here? So first thing that you have to know is that uh, to send your file to the cloud, that's gonna be the process of uploading. So sending it from your computer to the cloud, and the cloud is OneDrive, um, it's going to be uploading. So just think computer's on the ground, cloud is in the air, upload, right? So if I click right here on upload, I could upload a file or an entire folder worth of files. So let's say I have this file over here, my Microsoft Word file. I just finished uh, this Verbena Farms file. I could see it's saved right here. Let's say that I saved it on my desktop, okay? So I could see that on my desktop. There it is right there. And so I have this file saved at a school computer or a work computer or wherever it is, and I want to put it on the cloud. I just go right here to upload files and now that I'm at files I could just go to my desktop and I see Verbena Farms is right there so I click on Verbena Farms and I click open and there we go and now I see that my file is on the cloud here so uh, very very cool that's how you uh, upload a file so um, there we go so now we can see that um, Verbena Farms is here now I want to show you how to actually take that file um, from 
the cloud and bring it onto your computer. So in this case, it's going to be the cloud, which is in the air, remember, and it's coming down to your computer. So that's going to be downloading. So uh, we want to download the file. So there's a few ways that you could do that in OneDrive. So if I want to download the file, I need to click on this little circle right here to make the checkbox appear and then click download. If I do that, it's going to bring open the download box in the bottom left for Google Chrome. And I could just click on the icon and it's going to open up that file right there. And now I'm opening the file through OneDrive and there we go. Now my file is right here um, on my computer and I just downloaded it. So pretty cool. That's how it works. Uh, that's how downloading works. Another way that you can download in OneDrive is to right click and go to download. Okay, so I use download and I click it again and we see it does the exact same thing. It downloads that file and it opens it up. All right, so there we go. Now, um, one more thing that I wanted to point out was that when you guys are working in OneDrive, what I don't want you to do ever in class is click right here. Uh, if you just click, meaning left click, it's just going to open up uh, Word Online. Now Word Online is cool when you don't have Microsoft Office on your computer. You can do some uh, functionality with Word Online. It's pretty neat in that sense and you can actually adjust quite a bit in Word Online but it's not as compatible as the entire uh, Microsoft Office suite. It takes a little bit longer to load up as we can see. So I do not recommend using Word Online uh, in our classes. However, if you are using a computer that doesn't have Microsoft Word Word Online is a great resource as long as it loads. So there we go. So that's how we use it. You can see now down here in the bottom left, it says uh, 136 kilobytes used out of 5.5 gigs. So you can see that if you use that download box or that download link below this video, you're actually going to get an extra half a gig. So I do recommend using that. Now, lastly, one thing I wanted to point out, I'm just going to move my video uh, or my webcam up a little bit. And so you could see right here, down in the bottom right of our screen, there's an option for OneDrive. One of the best parts about OneDrive is that you can sync your OneDrive to your personal computer. So to do that, I would just click on OneDrive and we could see that my OneDrive is synced to my personal account right here. So I already have my account and I could add in my account uh, that I just created if I wanted to. I would just click add an account, type in my email address here. Okay, so I type that in, sign in. Okay, I'm not sure, oh, it's already signed in uh, with my other account, so it's not gonna let me uh, do that one until I unlink the old one. But I'll show you how my uh, personal account looks on my file explorer, that's in the bottom left right here. The great part about OneDrive is it syncs everything to your computer, right? So if it's synced to your desktop or your laptop, then you're actually going to see everything uh, saved directly to your OneDrive as an option. That way you don't have to use the web browser version. So you could just use it straight from your uh, computer in here and save everything directly to your OneDrive. Now, last thing that I wanted to go over, and I know I'm probably uh, answering too many questions on this uh, particular video request, but um, when you guys uh, have OneDrive, one of the great features about OneDrive is honestly the, um, and I'm gonna move my video back down here. There we go. Um, I'm going to show you OneDrive on your cell phone. And so OneDrive is right here on your cell phone. You can download it for free. And um, I'm using an Android phone, but it's available for iOS as well. And you can see all my files here, they're synced up. So the cloud works on your desktop, laptop, smartphone, or tablet. So um, very, very cool. Whenever I save anything onto my computer here, it automatically gets sent to my phone's OneDrive. It's on the cloud, so I save everything on the cloud. I don't have to save it on my hard drive, take up space there. Um, so yeah, really, really great to use OneDrive. I definitely recommend it. Um, and you know, it's much better in my opinion than using the flash drives in class just because students forget flash drives all the time and you could access the files anywhere from any device. So I hope this uh, video has 
has helped you out. Again, if uh, anyone wants to do a video request at any time, just put it in the comment section below on any of my videos, and usually I can make a video pretty quickly that explains what we're doing in class or how to use a certain feature of Microsoft Office or any other questions that you have. So thank you so much for watching. Please click like if you like the video, uh, give it a thumbs up, and other than that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.